I was playing? Huh. This life hack is for all you weirdos out there that like using science for things. What are you, Bill Nye? To get an egg to fit through a small glass opening, start by boiling hot water in the glass. Once the glass is piping hot, pour water out and just pop the egg on top. Through science, the cold egg will naturally be attached to the warmth at the bottom of the bottle. Oh, look at that. That's pure science. We should do that. Yeah, you can do it by lighting a match, blowing it out, letting it smoke, and then it sucks it in way faster. Kids these days are just so impatient. They just can't wait until Christmas without trying to sneak a peek at their gifts. With this hack, you can catch them red-handed. Take an ordinary glow stick and pour out the glowy juices into a cup. Then gently graze the glowing stuff onto the strings of the gift bag. That stuff is extremely toxic. It's okay. I mean, you're only gonna put on presents that like eight year olds are gonna open. If those pesky kids rummage through their presents, a black light's magic power will reveal their misdeeds. Don't but lick your fingers, kids. They're not even old enough to subscribe to PewDiePie. Here's a life hack for making your old boring Christmas ornaments into the hottest decorations around town. All you need to do is peel a crayon and place it inside your hideous old ornament. Then whip out a hairdryer and blast it until it heats up. Watch as the crayon melts away your regret of not doing this sooner. Here's an awesome life hack for those of you that are too broke to buy nice Christmas themed cups for the holidays. Start by buying some cheap plastic cups. That's not nice, are we poor shaming them? Uh, so they were calling them cheap cups so, so you're like an entrepreneur mm -hmm. and you're flipping them. Wow, these guys are like Steve Jobs. Yeah, except for they're not dead. Then cut some black strips and some small golden frames out of construction paper. Hot glue it all together and boom, go sell them online for 50 bucks a cup. Looks like he was born in the time Jesus was alive. Why, his hairy arms? Uh, I'm thinking more his masculine fingernails. This guy's manlier than we will ever be. Instead of walking around with fruit juice in your cup and hitting on girls all night and getting rejected, you can just make DIY cups in the corner. Yeah, try it at your next party. The holidays are here, and it's time to decorate your home from top to bottom. But what most people forget to do is decorate their closet. Studies show that decorating the inside of your closet helps produce just as much holiday cheer as decorations outside. All you need to do is grab a clothes hanger and just wrap some lights all around it, man. Oh jeez, Reek, I don't know. Oh Reek, why would you put lights on a hanger? Oh wow, that's actually a really convenient way to hang up Christmas lights. How? What, what would you use that for? Like, put it on some trees. Dude, that's insanely cool. You're just a hater. Now you can enjoy some tangle-free lights from the warmth of your closet. Do you just have a traffic cone laying around? What if this guy's just taking them from the street and people are hitting potholes and all kinds of stuff? Honestly, I hit a pothole this morning. It was probably because of this guy. Yeah, because he keeps on making hats for holidays. Yep. As you guys remember from the Halloween uh, one, he had like a pilgrim hat. Um, he had a witch hat. Yep. And now he's making a Santa hat. This guy's a nut job. I mean, it's not a bad Santa hat, though, I guess. If but, you... hey, more importantly, speaking of nuts, did you guys survive No Nut November? Uh -oh. Let us know down below. Yeah, it'll be over once this is uploaded, right? Mm-hmm. I did not survive. <laughs> All right, guys, the school dance is coming up, and here's your chance to ask out your crush to go with you. To my love. Start writing out your heartfelt messages and no, 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 no. You came in way too strong right there, and now you gotta fix this. Don't worry, just grab some toothpaste and use just a little bit of it to casually tone things down a bit. Oh, uh, he doesn't want to say love. That would just be, t that, that's too much. You can't call her your love. You, mm -hmm. you just met yesterday. So he, he, instead of using the eraser because it's a pencil, yeah, you just take don't have erasers. some Colgate toothpaste, dab it up there real good, and there's no way she'll ever know what that said. It's impossible to remove toothpaste. We're such good friends. Friend zone. Looking for a way to eat popcorn and burn even fewer calories in the process? By wearing a state-of-the-art hoodie backwards, you can pour your delicious treat into your hood and not have to worry about carrying around a stupid bowl. What if you wear your hoodie and you have like hair gel in and then you put the popcorn Or what if you just it? put the hoodie on later and then your hair just instantly becomes greasy? Yeah. Someone's gonna be like, have you not showered in two months? You're gonna be like, nah, I just put on my hoodie. If you're really feeling adventurous, you can just dunk your face in the hood and chow down. No way. That's a great way to get acne. No way he did that. Dude, he's gonna have like 30 pimples tomorrow. What if I told you you've been eating gummy bears wrong this entire time? Oh you're god, You're supposed no. to pick the red gummy bear, not the blue gummy bear. <laughs> Apparently some top level food scientists realized that if you light them on fire, then they are one million times more delicious. 
don't take our word for it. Literally look at how tasty that looks. Like, it's insane. It's like kinetic sand. Are you telling me people used to eat gummy bears raw? Yeah, people you... used to eat gummy bears that weren't on fire. You gotta cook those things first, man. I know, it's like chicken. If you don't cook it, you could get malaria. You'll get salmonella. Nah, malaria. It looks like, like a, a mudslide. All right, you know what, boss? I wanna ride down this that gummy thing because it does look like a slide. Photoshop me riding down it. Whoa, whoa! Oh, I'm at the bottom. I'm on a plate. Hope I don't get eaten. Whoa. Oh, that's beautiful. Are you bored with your old Christmas sweater and want to spice things up with a modern new look? Well, for this life hack, just take a pair of scissors and start by cutting off the sleeves. Get some tape and close off the bigger end of both of the sleeves. Wow, this is actually genius. You're hacking the system, saving a lot of money, and then you can spend that on Christmas presents. Yes. If only there was a way that you could close them by, I don't know, sewing them instead of using duct tape. Yeah, but not everyone has a sewing machine. You really think if this guy was rich and could afford a sewing machine, he'd be making his own socks? Is your regular alarm too weak to wake you up? Add a boost to that bad boy by putting it in a glass cup when you set it. All aboard the SS Restless. That's pretty funny. Ever get in trouble at school and have to write your name over and over again as punishment? I don't know if that's a thing anymore, but if it is, you can cheat the system by duct taping five pencils together and writing your names five times as fast. You know, if you think about it, like this being a punishment is kind of uh, kind of dumb. What, it, what would it teach you? Well, it would teach Billy Buttface that he has a stupid last name. I feel like Buttface is a good name, but Billy's a stupid name. I know, right? Honestly, if you're watching this and you're Billy, just don't watch anymore, please. I feel like your teacher might find out. Yeah. Uh, nah, dude, they're perfectly identical. Get me a zoom in on those top ones, zoom in on the bottom ones. All right, Kowalski, analyze it. All right, Kowalski will get back to us in a future video. Imagine having like a girl over, and she asks what time it is, and then you just go beat the crap out of your clock and then uh, tell her it's hammer time. Do you have to have like a room full of clocks every time you want to make that joke? <laughs> yeah, what if this guy just had 10 chilling in the corner? He went to Amazon and you know you get a discount if you buy in bulk. He bought like 20 clocks and every time somebody's ever like, hey, by the way, what time is it? He goes, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> want to make a custom card for that special someone but don't mind throwing safety out the window? Start by peeling the paper off a crown and loading that bad boy right around the hot glue gun. I hope this works. Oh, no way. Yeah, I hope this works. No way, wait. There's no way it'll work. That's It's gotta be like way thicker. Oh, wow, it does work. Well, not really. That that works. We should use this to draw on the side of PewDiePie's house. Are we going to PewDiePie's house? Maybe, my brother might. Now that winter is here, you might find yourself dealing with a frozen car door lock. Instead of calling into work and going back to bed like I would, just squirt some hand sanitizer in there and it will melt the ice. You should still call into work though, but now you can grab some breakfast first. Apparently it's so cold outside that his uh, his door froze, but he's wearing short sleeves. Oh, uh, things aren't adding there, up. There's a plot hole here. Mm. Mm. Are you tired of misplacing your toothbrush all the time? If you don't want to waste time and money buying a fancy toothbrush holder, here's a solution. You know what I hate? Buying things that are useful when well, you I can mean, just this, make them. This right here at the beginning, this could simply be your toothbrush holder. You could just put your toothbrush on it and it would keep it off the counter. You see what I'm saying? I don't think he realized that. He doesn't have a 400 IQ like us. Nah. Just get a plastic bottle cap from your favorite soda and cut it just enough for the toothbrush to fit. Then just hot glue it to whatever surface you like and presto, you'll never lose your toothbrush again. It would not be a life hack if they didn't hot glue hot something glue. to yep. something. That does not look sanitary to me. No, honest. it doesn't. It's like touching the wall. It's gross. I love all the red marks on his fingers. Yeah, like, look at dude. Yeah, That's life hacks <laughs> gone wrong. What if you did a documentary It's like the things they don't show you about life hacks. <laughs> Are you wanting to get more out of your stocking when Santa fills it this Christmas? Well, to trick Santa into giving you more awesome goodies, start by cutting the foot of your stocking off. Then take the most hefty and ginormous trash bag you can find and slip it inside of your stocking. Take that, Santa. I want extra batteries this year. My mom used to put apples in our stockings, and I was like, Mom, you gotta stop doing this. I don't want this. <laughs> she just puts four apples and then like an iPhone case on top. Yeah, I'm like, Mom, you can skip the apples. I mean, it's nice, but I'm not. All right, Chris's mom, if you're watching this, 
I will take the apples. Unlike Chris, I'm grateful. To make sure you're getting the most out of your Christmas this year, start with an offering of milk and cookies to Santa. Then once the bait is set, sprinkle in some mouse traps. Jesus. <laughs> once he's caught, explain that it was all a big misunderstanding and get a reward for helping him out. Is that a Paw Patrol Santa hat? Uh, I need to zoom in. Kowalski, I don't need an analysis. I can't confirm it is Paw Patrol. Santa is a Paw Patrol fan confirmed. That's or, my favorite Maybe anime. this guy right here mm -hmm. is just a weirdo. Well, no, it's a good anime. It has a solid plot. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I color. like when they get the treats around episode five. Here's an easy life hack that will help keep your water bill low. Just keep a couple bottles of soda and store them in your toilet's water tank. The difference in water levels will help you use less water with each flush. Actually, this is a real life hack. It's stupid to use soda. It's... Wait, you don't like to store your soda in your toilet? Well, like, so I can see this being useful. Like, you're taking a poop, right? Mm -hmm. You take off the back of your toilet. And you need some soda. Crack so he should put some Skittles and trolleys back there, because I know he likes those. Yeah, he should also put some ice in the toilet. Ice in his veins? <laughs> What's that from? I, don't, I think a rap song, maybe? I think that's a <laughs> reference or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well. Do you ever feel like your soda is missing, you know, a little extra something when you drink it? If so, get a special ice cube tray and fill it with the soda. Oh wow, the cutting board has a meniscus. Did he say it has a meniscus? I think that's what I heard. I tore that in college. Your brother was there when it happened. It was another guy on the team, slide tackled me. And yeah, I, I was about to say, why did you think that was my brother? So, what Chris tore his meniscus and that's why he has bad knees. Gently throw it in the freezer for an hour or a day or whatever, I don't care. Now slowly remove the frozen soda ice cubes from the tray and add them to your drink for a totally chill flavor boosting experience. Dude, you know what's the best? When you take a Coca-Cola, you put it in the freezer just long enough to where it's not frozen, but it's still kind of a slushy. Yeah. Oh my God, dude, it's so good. It's like drinking a Coca-Cola slushy. I don't like soda. Get out of here, you communist. Yeah, you're right. I obviously don't like freedom because I don't like soda. There's nothing more free than Coca-Cola. Are you worried that your favorite toilet paper brand isn't as fresh as its competitors? If so, just use a can of air freshener to ensure that your brand is the best brand. And the more you use it, the cleaner the experience. Are you supposed to spray air freshener on your butthole? Mm -hmm. Then, then it will smell minty fresh. Hey Chris, hold up. Kowalski's analysis just came in. Oh, you were right. He said the teacher would be able to tell the difference. Oh, well, I already submitted it though. Mm -hmm. Am I gonna get in trouble? Yeah, according to Kowalski. Kowalski's never wrong. That's it for the video. We're about to play rock, paper, scissors. Remember, whenever you click on a Mr. Period Beast video, always watch to the end. Because at the end of every video, we play rock, paper, scissors. People that don't play rock, paper, scissors, their parents don't love them. So, get your, get your thing in your hand. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I choose paper. Oh yeah, I won. All right, for this next one, I choose scissors. Whoa. Wow, I can't believe you've done this. All right, we're tied. This one's for the dub. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Well, wow, that was super easy. Subscribe or you're a failure.